Hey, it's been a while. Um, I've got some progress on this app and a bit of a plan for um, what I'm hoping to accomplish over the course of this week and into next week. We are at a place where the survey is looking pretty good. I've overcome quite a lot of hurdles on being able to use it on mobile. I've never had a development environment be so different from the actual prod device that I'm trying to run it on, but holy moly, playing audio and recording audio on iPhones is really rough. It's it's finally in a good place. I get errors here and there, um, but at least I'm like notifying the user of the errors now. So it is it is what it is. Um, I also if the, if there's been an error, you can refresh and it'll pick up the survey where you left off. So that's good. Anyway, uh, let's get into it. I want to show a demo of what I've created so far and where we're at and what my plan is for the rest of this week and into next week. So skip ahead to the chapters you care about and let's get into it. Okay, so this is the app. Maybe I'll make it bigger. This is the app. Um, you start, it's just a dot blinking. If you don't know to tap the dot, I eventually tell the user, tap the dot. There have been a couple of people I've seen use this that like are like, oh, it's just loading. No, it's not loading. It's just waiting for you to make uh, an input. I, I kind of like this screen because it's teaching the user when the dot flashes like this, you tap it. Um, one thing I worked on over the last couple of days is just this intro flow. So here it is. I'll turn up my device volume so you can hear it. Through the trees. And the idea is that this is a service that will like, like right now I'm kind of at a crossroads where I'm like, what the heck do I want to build as a founder or as a company? So I've tailored this particular survey to like trying to answer that question. And then I'll send it to a bunch of people in my life who know me. And since I'm kind of too close to the question myself, I'm hoping that some insights from them might help me answer this question. I didn't actually um, iterate on what questions I'll be asking in the survey, so the ones are a little rough, but Jesse has requested your input. Turn your volume up. I've got it up. Loading spinner. Hey, I'm Spud. Nice to meet you. I'll be your interviewer. I know. A talking dot? Wild. Don't worry, I didn't come up with the questions. I have humans for that. I'm just here to help you be as thoughtful as possible. This has to be better than filling out a form, right? Wait, I can't hear you yet. I'll make your device ask for permission to use your mic. Please click allow. And this is a little weird on, on the web browser, but right as it animates down like that on an actual mobile phone, it pops up the native, like, allow this to use your microphone thing. Um, and then you, and the dot is like kind of dormant. And then once you click allow, I register, oh yeah, I can use it now. And then it starts blinking like this and then you can tap it to keep going. Okay, let's give your microphone a test. When I transform into a record button, tap me to start recording and again to stop. What's your favorite animal? So again, this intro sequence is really just teaching the user how to do um, the actions I'm hoping they'll take while filling out the survey. I've seen people confused about when they were just when I just had it as survey questions. They were confused about um, oh the dot is in the bottom right. Now I click that to start recording. I tried to make it like look like a record button, but I guess I could have put like a microphone icon or something on it. But I'm trying to stay with this like interactive dot theme. Um, but anyway, I've seen people struggling when the dot turns into a red dot in the bottom right to know that that's a record button. And so this is just explicitly teaching the, the user in this intro sequence, you tap it to start recording, you tap it to stop recording, and that red dot is how you start recording. My favorite animal is cats.
I heard my favorite animal is cats. Dang, I'm good. Let's get to the interview. Welcome to the interview. So Jesse has requested your input. They're asking themselves the bigger question of, what should I be building in life? We're gonna ask you a few questions about them in general to hopefully help Jesse see the forest through the trees. We're talking to a bunch of other people in their life too. So no pressure, tap the dot to get started. What should I be building in life? Maybe it should be, what should I be building for my business? First question, what are the things Jesse tends to gravitate towards? This is a vague question and I have to update the questions. Next question, what are Jesse's biggest strengths? Well, I've been working on this animation skill and it's paying off. Next question. Do you think he should be a CEO or a more technical co-founder? I think it really depends here on the actual business I'm starting, but probably CTO. Next question. How did this whole survey go? What feedback do you have on the intro sequence and the interview experience? I think that the major bits of feedback I have that I want to start working on in the future are, I want to give a time estimate for each question to the user. I think there are going to be some questions that are like, take a couple minutes to tell a story. Like you have four minutes. And then I want to have the very beginning of the survey be a time estimate of like how long the survey ought to take. So I think that time management is something I'd like to weave into this survey. That's my biggest piece of feedback. That was a long recording. Next question. How did this whole survey go? What feedback do you have Ooh. on the intro sequence and the interview experience? Well, that's a bug. Maybe it was because the recording was too long. But it's supposed to say thank you at the end. Say thank you. That's it. Thank you for the thoughtful responses. Yeah, not sure why it kind of bugged out there, but something to fix. Anyway, um, there's lots of new things here. New fonts, new branding, um, slightly different background color, still green. Um, I've got a couple things to work on, but it's really coming along and um, I'll get into what things I'm going to be working on next here in a second. Okay, so what's my plan for what I'm going to be working on from here on out um, on this project? Let's go over to here. This is a doc I made to kind of outline what are my goals for this first version? What am I specifically not working on yet? And then what are um yeah what are the text messages going to look like so essentially um over the next week i'm going to try to integrate this so that i can send the survey out to people in my life to ask questions about what i should be building what they think i ought to be building those kinds of things um like what's a business you could see me being really happy running and uh, who what are the kinds of users that i would be serving um what makes me tick? I don't know. Some of these things I'm too close to, so I'm really hoping that I can get some insights from people in my life. Explicit features. Uh, the tutorialization stuff I just demoed, so that's done. You know, establish the purpose of the format, turn up the volume, request that they allow us to use the microphone, and establish the UX with the talking dot. I did all those things. That's in the demo right before this. Um, I also created this... Um, image that's ba this diagram is basically like how I'd like text messages to flow for the different users. So I have the subject and then the interviewee, which is kind of a crappy name for a user persona, but whatever. And then the system is this middle middle line. So um, basically subject invites people to be interviewed. So then the system sends a bunch of 
uh, interview request text messages to different interviewees. Um, if they don't respond, then there'll be one to three reminders. I'll work out the copy for that. If they do respond to the to the survey, then I'll text the subject, hey, somebody responded. Um, here's, this is how many people, like you have seven out of 10 people have responded. Uh, here's a nice quote from a story they told or something like that. And then once they're all done, I think the last one of these will be like, click here for your full summary. Um, or maybe I'll just generate a, a, like a summary page um, that's kind of dynamic depending on all the people that have filled it out. Uh, so TBD there, but I'm this, I, I'm specifically again, deprioritizing, um, features for the subject in this version, because I'm going to be the subject. So I can do a whole bunch with the data that people get back to me. And I'm mostly doing this to find bugs and stuff, which back to these goals. Um, I want to learn how might we use the responses to generate insights. Um, I think I'm going to probably use a text to text. AI to generate like a nice PDF or something like that um, based on a whole bunch of the question and answer pairs. Um, I want to find bugs in the UI and UX. I've been hammering this thing myself over the last few days, so it's pretty tight, but I've still seen bugs float up. Um, and then I really want this trial to just kind of inform me what features I'll need as a subject so that other people could also be the subject. I was also thinking about, um, uh, yeah. So anyway, those are the three things I want to learn. Those are the goals of this MVP. Um, deprioritizing things that would enhance the subject experience because I'm going to be the subject and that's kind of one of the things I'm learning here. And then I've outlined here are the text messages that I want to be sending to people, you know, interview request reminders, interview requests. Those are the names of these boxes. And then I had some branding. Um, my wife made me a little branding guideline. Um, and I I actually did this already, improved pickup where you left off experience. And the end screen could use some work. So maybe I'll judge it up and bring back the like trees analogy. But I use this font. I like this font a lot. Um, I bought it. It's Tay Birdie. Tay is like a person who makes fonts and they're all handmade and they're pretty nice. A lot of them are all caps. Um, and then a plan for future versions. So that's basically it for this version. I think the last thing that I really have to do is the texting comms flow over the next few days and um, some of this stuff. I was going to make a landing page so that people can... Um, sign up for a waiting list if they wanted to be a subject themselves. I imagine somebody of the like 30 people I'm going to send this to would be interested in paying, you know, five to $20 to generate a survey and send it out to people they know. Um, so, so I, I have, I, I I'm going to try to, you know, build out some of the nice tooling things before that happens. But if I know them, then maybe they'll be willing to work with me on, limited subject experience too. Anyway, that's the plan for the next couple of weeks. Thanks for sticking around um, for the rest of the plan. And yeah, I'll let you know how it goes.